Hi, in this video we're going to be calculating the formula for the nth term of this particular sequence. And I'm going to use the same method that I use in other uh, videos within this particular playlist, which is going to be using formulas in order to find out a n squared plus b n plus c. Now the reason that's true is because this is a quadratic sequence and although it won't tell you that on the actual question, what we've got is the first difference in this particular case is plus one and then it's going to be plus two and then it's going to be plus three. So um, it's not a common difference or an arithmetic sequence, it's going to be quadratic because the second difference is going to be the same okay and it's the second difference that we're going to use in order to calculate the value of a and then we're going to use a formula to calculate the value of b and also the value of c and when we've done that we'll be able to answer part b of the question okay so the first thing is is that the second difference is equivalent to 2a Okay, so if 2a equals plus 1, if I divide through by 2, then it means that a must equal 0 0.5, or if you prefer as a fraction, a half. Okay, the next little bit of it is this first number here, which is plus 1, is equal to 3a plus b. OK, and I'm going to use that formula now because I know my value of A. So if I write 3A plus B equals, and it's plus 1, just be very careful about with all of these positive and negative numbers. So this is going to be just 1, OK? And my value of A, as I mentioned before, was a half. So I've got 3 times 0 0.5 plus b equals 1. Well, 3 times a half or 3 times 0 0.5 is going to give me 1.5 plus b equals 1. So if I minus 1.5 from both sides, I'm going to get that b equals minus 0 0.5. And that's my second value of b. So that's minus 0 0.5. And then the final piece of this is to find the value of c, where I use the formula 3a uh, plus b plus c equals minus 2. Okay, so again, I can write that out, a plus b plus c equals minus 2. Okay, so I've got my value of a, which is 0 0.5. I've got my value of b, which is minus 0 0.5. I'm working out c, and that equals minus 2. OK, so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is going to be 1. Uh, beg your pardon, it's going to be 0. <laughs> it's going to be 0. So 0 plus c, c then is going to equal minus 2. So the final part of that is that equals minus 2. So when I write the nth term formula out, I can write that as the nth term is going to equal 0.5 n squared minus 0.5 n plus, or oh, big pun, minus 2. Okay, and that would be the answer to the first part of this question. OK, now I can use that formula to answer part B, which is where we need to calculate the 10th term or the 10th place in this particular sequence. So I can take that value of 10 and plug it straight into this formula. OK, so I'm going to have 0.5 brackets 10 squared minus 0.5 times 10 minus 2. OK, so let's just calculate that. So remember, I'm going to work with the brackets and the index first. So 10 squared is going to be 100. So I've got 0 0.5 times 100. And then I've got minus 0 0.5 times 10, which is going to be minus 5, and then minus 2 at the end. OK, a half of 100 is 50, minus 5, minus 2. So that's going to give me an answer, finally, of 43. So therefore, the 10th term is going to be equal to 43. And that would be the answer to part B of this question. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.